Flash floods and tornado watches are in effect for much of the southeast this morning as severe, as severe weather is moving through. But the focus is really shifting to California, where a monster storm will unleash life-threatening flooding. Just look at that radar. Chad Myers is tracking this for us. Chad, what are you seeing? Yeah, both sides of the country right now. Big line of severe weather headed through the Carolinas, Georgia, and the parts of Florida at this hour. Tornado watches are still in effect until 2 o'clock. We have a line of weather that's going to be rolling through Savannah, Charleston, and the like over the next couple of hours. A couple of tornado warnings on the ground right now. But this is the next storm system we have to watch out for. Coming into California, warm front this morning. Later on this afternoon, cold front, an awful lot. This is going to be wet, white, and windy. An awful lot of rain could be four inches of rain in some spots on top of places that had four to six just last week. And then if you get up in the mountains, that's where the white is. This will be deeper than a yardstick in places in the Sierra. We'll take the snow and we can get it. 98% of California is still in a drought, but we don't need this winds to 70 miles per hour through the end of this week. One storm for today and another one for tomorrow and for tomorrow night. I think it's time for California for a while to say uncle. I'm kidding. It's good to see you, Chad. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go there right now. Stephanie Elam is in San Francisco. Stephanie, what's going on there? Well, we're in a little bit of a lull, which we knew was going to happen this morning, Kate, as we are watching the storm come in. We've already gotten drenched enough, and you can see that the wind is really kicking up. As you heard Chad talk about here, we have some white caps that are down here along this pier uh, here in San Francisco. And here's something else. The water where I'm standing is starting to come through now. We're starting to see that this water is starting to come up and onto the uh, walkway here in this area uh, by the Embarcadero here in San Francisco. What's also noteworthy is that this water here, when we got here, was about four feet lower. It's rising and it's definitely going to start flooding here. This while we're in this low. What we know is that we're going to see roads getting washed out. We know that we are probably going to see some mudslides because not just because of this storm, which is noteworthy in and of itself, but because of that New Year's Eve storm, the grounds are very saturated. So the other thing people need to watch out for are trees falling over because it's just too much water in a very concentrated time, Kate. Yeah, all of it adding together to make an absolute mess. Stephanie, thank you so much. Be safe today. I really appreciate it. Let's bring in the San Francisco Mayor London Breed right now to talk more about how the city's preparing. Mayor, as Stephanie was just saying, y'all just went through a big storm over New Year's that you'd said that the, the city wasn't really prepared for because of how much rain came down versus the predictions. What are you preparing for now? Well, just to be clear, San Francisco, because we're earthquake territory, we're pretty much prepared for any disaster. We spring into action, and we did that during New Year's Eve, even though we the predictions around the rainfall uh, were a lot lower than what we anticipated. Uh, and in light of what we expect today, anywhere between three and four inches of rain, maybe more, um, we have sandbags, we have crews out everywhere, we're dealing uh, with trying to clean up the mess from New Year's Eve still, but mm -hmm. at the same time, clearing storm drains, doing everything we can to make sure that we keep the people of this city safe. Absolutely. And there, there's going to be rain. There's going to be wind. What are you most concerned about, Mayor? Well, we're really concerned, of course, about the rain and flooding and also the wind, um, especially when people are out, maybe driving. Uh, we were talking about uh, the need for people to use 911 for life-threatening emergencies only and making sure that the call volume doesn't flood and, and, and we're not distracted with things that could potentially wait. Like, for example, if there's flooding and there's no uh, concern about life, we want to make sure that our life safety personnel are focused on saving lives because, unfortunately, um, we expect uh, floods, we expect high winds, we expect trees to be falling and uh, electricity to be lost. And so we want to make sure that we are using our resources efficiently. Mm. California, often when we're talking about California and the weather in the past 12 months, we've been talking about the historic drought conditions that California has been facing. What does all of this mean for that, Mayor? Well, we've been talking about drought. We've been talking about wildfires. I mean, the fact is global warming is, is a real thing and we need to, climate change is a real thing and we need to make the kinds of investments necessary to prepare for things like this. In San Francisco, we have over $630 million of work happening as we speak to deal with stormwater and challenges like what we're talking about in neighborhoods that historically, you know, in conditions that are not as severe as even today and New Year's Eve, 
have impacted specific neighborhoods. And so we have to prepare for the future. We have to think about the kinds of things that are going to impact our cities um, all over the country, especially because climate change is real and we have to start to prepare for it and invest in our infrastructure. Yeah, and it's, it's, we've been talking, it's not even preparing for it, right? It's happening now. We have to deal with the, there's very little preparation needed anymore is kind of what we're looking at with the climate crisis. Just finally, what is the message to people in San Francisco today as we're in the middle of this lull, as Stephanie Elam was saying, but it's going to be coming? Well, we're asking people if they can to stay at home and work for home, especially in the evening time. We expect this storm to really start to pick up in the afternoon. Uh, wind gusts are going to be very challenging. Uh, we want folks to be as safe as possible. If you see large uh, uh, puddles of water, don't drive into them. You know, back up and get out of the way because we don't want to have to come and save folks who um, are basically driving into situations that they're unfamiliar with. We want to make sure 911 is used for life and death emergencies. We have 311. People can call 311 for all sorts of things. We have crews ready to go. We have people prepared. Uh, we're on this. We have folks out there. Just be safe and do the best you can. San Franciscans will get through this.